Good morning and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Tuesday Scottish News Bulletin. Tributes have poured in for Lisbon Lion Stevie Chalmers, who passed away yesterday morning aged 83. Chalmers scored the winning goal in the 1967 European Cup final, which Celtic Chief Executive Peter Lowell called the most important goal in the club's history. It has been a devastating time for the Celtic family following the passing of Lisbon Lion captain Billy McNeil last week. Aberdeen's Max Lowe has said he and his teammates will do all they can to stop Celtic winning the league at Pataudry on Saturday. Celtic only need to avoid defeat on Saturday lunchtime to ensure that they win their eighth title in a row. Don't want to see that, especially at our place, you know. We're going to try our bless, uh, best not to let that happen. So, But like I said, fair play to Celtic. They've had a good season, but we know um, we're not going to let that happen and not let them win the league easily. Hibernian Chief Executive Leanne Dempster is aiming to ban a Hearts fan from Easter Road after seat damage during Sunday's derby. A video of the vandalism was posted on Twitter to which Dempster responded saying, you just cost your club around £60 mate, and said she will work with Hearts to identify the individual. Motherwell have announced the summer signing of Cambridge United left-back Jake Carroll on a two-year pre-contract deal. Carroll becomes their third signing of the summer already, following Livingston defender Declan Gallagher and Inverness midfielder Liam Polworth, although teenage winger Jake Hasty looks set to sign for Rangers on a free transfer. A quick look over the back pages, which of course all pay tribute to Stevie Chalmers. The record write the man, the goal, the legend. The Sun have Celtic interim boss Neil Lennon saying Chalmers scored the greatest goal in the club's greatest win in the club's entire history. And the Daily Mail pictured Chalmers and McNeil with the headline, Another Legend Falls. Thank you very much for watching this morning. Make sure you stay with us on PLZ while bringing the latest news from across Scotland and the footballing world. And of course, we have the football show on tonight at 5.30.